Parents say that McNeil met their much younger daughter in a strip club. They say that McNeil wooed their child with lavish gifts and fancy dates, but he was controlling, and when he didn't get his way, he threw temper tantrums. Rifles at the ready, searching under tarps. Seattle SWAT team, miles away from their own city, move with guns drawn in a quiet Bothell neighborhood as they clear the home of former Bothell council member, 58-year-old James McNeil. McNeil is accused of murdering 21-year-old Lilia Guyveronsky. I was totally shocked. Totally shocked. I mean, uh, the James McNeil that I know cared a great deal about the citizens and the kids and the community. Tom Agnew served on Bothell City Council with McNeil. He tells Fox 13 News he was also close to McNeil's family. What the, you know, what happened? What happened? New court documents I obtained answer that question more clearly. Guy Veronsky's parents say the young daughter met McNeil, a man more than twice her age, in a strip club. They say McNeil dazzled their daughter with dates, parties, and fancy clothes, and even started paying her bills. But the charging documents say McNeil was controlling and emotionally unstable. A note found in Guy Veronsky's home states McNeil did not support her when she needed it and only wanted sex and complete access to her life. Guy Veronsky's parents say their daughter broke things off with McNeil on April 27th, which creates a tragic timeline. Two days later, police believe Guy Veronsky wrote a letter to herself, which says, do not interact with James today. Police also believe on this same day, McNeil, a six foot two, 300 plus pound man, strangled the five foot four, 120 pound woman in her own home, then left her naked in her bed, wrapped in a blanket, cut his own wrists, and called his attorney to notify police of the homicide. McNeil has not shown up to any of his court hearings. There is one scheduled in the next few weeks that he must show up to. You can count on continued coverage. Right now, McNeil is held in jail on a $3 million bail. I also got a chance to speak to some friends of Guy Veronsky today. They tell me they are planning a memorial service. If we get any more information, we'll keep you up to date. Reporting here in Seattle, I'm AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News.